Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more of the wonderful Wobbyless Project Zomboid. Alright, today is a big day, which is dumb because it's not really a big day, but today is the day we attempt to find proper safety. That's all I want. I just want to feel safe in, in, a, in a freaking home that we can sleep in and be happy. And like, I get it, you know, zombie apocalypse, you know, being happy is not something that is... Uh, normal. Can you just fall over? I just, I, I uh, just want... Okay. Are you fucking serious? Don't make the pushing motion if you don't plan on pushing him over. Is all I'm gonna say. Please? Please fall over? Am I just weak? Like, what's going on here? Can I just... Have a frying pan. Oh, dang it. Come on. Like, I've never come across a zombie that I, I couldn't push over. Oh, God. No, no, no. Why, why, what, what is happening? Back up, back up. What is happening? I'm getting bruised up. This is dumb. I'm going in here, basically. Can I not open this? Nope. Well, let's see if I can at least get inside. No. Windows open. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going to just see if I can find any sort of weapon at all. I'm going to grab this bottle of water. Hey, let's get you out here. Okay. Well, they got stuck. Next, <laughs> let's try going in here, maybe. Maybe this is uh, where we can call home for a little while. Why can't... Can I ask why my particular character can't push anybody over? They're zombies, my dude. They are nothing but zombies. I'm getting hungry. Maybe I can get in here and be all right. Dead zombie. She doesn't fade away, which is a win. Ooh. Let's eat this peanut butter. I don't care about anything else. Just eat the peanut butter. Give me some... Lord, give me strength. Equip as a, pri a primary. We got a frying pan now. I I I would happily. Okay, they're there. They're in there. That's fine. Um, I would absolutely happily take like a a, a knife. These guys have to go though. Hey, how's it going? At least the frying pan, like, does actual damage. Okay, except for when, like, it whiffs. Come on, man. Really? This is absurd. No. Come on. Get me out. Just get me out. I don't... I'm stuck. Run. Get me out. Bye-bye. All right. Well, we're managing, at the very least, to, to uh, just slip by where and when we can. 
Nothing falls over, nothing dies. I've learned that much at the very least. Like, look at that. I've never come across a sturdier bunch of zombies than these guys. Okay, that's fine. One down. I want to grab her. I want. I just need to get somewhere safe for the night. I just, I just want to sleep. Oh, she went sliding. Okay, next, another dead one. So the question is, is there a zombie in here? There is. Is there one out of the building as well? There's two. Of course there is. Whatever. Gotta work. You gotta work for your safety. Shit doesn't come for free, fam. Let's go. Can I get him to lunge? No. But I can get him to fall over. The faster one seems to fall over easier. Okay, you're down. Come on. No! I, I, I'm scratched. I don't understand what's going on with some of this absolute nonsense. Rip. Just rip up the vest. Oh my god, there's so fucking many of them. Run. I'm just trying to make this work, man. That's all I'm trying to do. This is dumb. This is dumb. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. If, like, any of them had at least fallen over when I pushed them a hundred times, we'd be in a better spot, but we did not get that lucky. Is this safe? No! No! No way, dude! No way! Come on. Come on. Come on. That was an insane amount of effort. Come on. Look at... Why does my character feel like he's so much weaker than he was? Is it because I'm not the Lumberjack class anymore? Or the Axe Man? Because that's dumb. Oh god, I gotta go. I can't... <laughs> In what world? Oh god. In my world, that's the answer. My world. My world is the only world that this garbage is happening. And it makes me a sad boy. Character's like exhausted. Hopefully, whoever was over here for the most part is gone. Maybe I can get into this house and clear it. I'm gonna try and pull these guys away and get into that house. Get them lost in the woods. Cut around, make sure they can't see me. Can't get in that way. Come on. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Just want to make sure. No alarm. Right, let's just get upstairs.
just spend a night inside. Close the curtains in case anybody's out there. By anybody, I mean zombies. Let's see if we can get some clothing ripped up or anything, really. Just this. Um, I did not turn on a TV. Okay. A scratch doesn't guarantee that we're going to get infected, by the way. This needs to not be on. Thank you. Let's get to sleep. God, thank God. <laughs> we found a house. We can sleep in it. Absolute chaos, man. We're not in pain anymore, which is great. Let's remove the bandage and see if the wound is still there. It is still there. Um, we'll go ahead and slap the bandage back on this one. And uh, the first thing we're going to do here is just loot this house to high heaven. Beta blockers, adhesive bandage, a sheet is fine. I don't know how useful the other things are, so I'm going to leave them for now. And let's just, like I said, kind of go bonkers and loot here. We can organize after. Uh, let's just grab everything out of the out of what we want. I'm gonna leave the stuff in the fridge because there's a, there's a very good chance we're here in this particular house for a very long time. I'm gonna take the can opener though, which is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, a hammer is super good. Uh, as is a screwdriver, I think. We can start doing some construction and whatnot. Like, if we wanted to, we could actually disassemble the wooden chair. Oh, no, we need a saw. But we... All right. Thunder. Nice. Uh, we can disassemble, like, the chairs and stuff. And that alone will be valuable. Um, to our skill. Excuse me? Gunshots have been reintroduced to the game? Maybe I knew that and I just forgot. Fuck. Okay. Well, we have to clear out a zombie. Maybe more. There's another one. Yeah, they're all going towards the gunshot. Yep. I like how the game's like, you, lo you want... You I'm sorry, did you want to feel safe, fam? I ain't, no, 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 no. We don't do safety here. No way in heck. Drop this. The hammer in here. Just trying to loosen up my load enough so that I can get out of here. Oh my God, you're super fast. I'm down for just getting her out. I'll just dump her. Unequip. See you later. Just don't want her in the house. You know what? You too, buddy. Down you go. Oh, the push worked on you. Wow, one of the only zombies that actually ended up working. So I guess we can only hope that Maybe the gunshots pull the zombies away uh, enough that we can actually do something and start looting the area over there. I don't really want to be here as my main home. It's, in my opinion, it's too far from anything useful. While there is enough room to farm, I mean, you can pretty much farm anywhere. So, it does, like, that aspect of, like, being here does not excite me I'm gonna grab the vest I don't think I can clean it we could rip it up though but if we get too cold or something I just want to I want a piece of clothing that I can throw on all right where can I go from here that I can loot 
We know this is relatively safe. This will be our return if we need to. Now, the gunshot was close, actually. The gunshot was, was loud enough where apparently it didn't pull nearly as many as I would have liked. Maybe this house over here, or these houses over here, will be worth looting. As uh, a couple, at least a couple, just by the sounds of it. Okay, that's not a big deal. It's gonna face the way where they could probably sneak up on me. A good chunk there. Oh, there's a bunch. Thing is, I can't take out more than like one at a time without a proper weapon. And as we've learned, my character can't shoot a pistol worth a damn. Uh, and ended up missing basically all of his shots. Gonna keep trying to take out what I can. It's good for stats. And uh, if we want to do something like maybe pop around back into our old house, which is this right here. We can make that work. I still think this is a really good place to, to hole up and defend. Oh my god, they smashed my door down, so maybe not. At least maybe not anymore. Just want to face, face the building. I mean, they did get about a day to two days worth of free door smashing opportunity. Yeah. Still, I'm very happy to clear it out. I don't know if it matters where I'm stomping on them, but it looks cool if I'm stomping them on the head, so that's what I'm going with. There's at least one hanging out in here, like. You know? I heard, I heard it. Oh, there's this guy coming around the corner. If I wanted to make a door, what would I need? Door. Survivalist. I mean, if we wanted to live out in the wild, we could. Carpentry. Metalworking. So this is a wildly different thing now. Well, this place is clear, again, which is nice. I think I looted the house completely. Let's double check. We're not in a rush, but I don't think this is where we want to hang out anymore. No door and not being able to build a door is a problem. Okay, there is still food and all kinds of stuff in here. So I never looted it. I kind of just left right away, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and grab this real quick. And add the sheet onto the window. How? I, it's got to be one of those things where I can only build it if I get high enough skill to do it. So if I was to like... Pop open our carpentry skill. We have three points in it, which is a lot. But if I wanted to, like, disassemble... None of this, apparently. Then it wouldn't do me any good. I also should probably remove... Oh, no, we're still bandaged and clean. So I assume the wound healed. We didn't get sick, so we're good. I'm still... still Thinking we don't want to stick around here. Uh, I'm glad we were able to at least get some safety and, and find some useful stuff. Remove grass, huh? Cool. Uh, but I think this is where we're going to have to cut the episode. And then next episode, we walk into uh, maybe looking to find our old home and start making that trek. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. And by hitting the like button, your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.